Producing a great sounding record isn't easy. You need your music mastered specifically for vinyl, you need a well optimised cut, on a lacquer that doesn't have any flaws, you need a stamp out with no pops or clicks, and then a pressing with no surface noise. At any stage in the process, things can go wrong and it isn't always obvious where to look. At Stamper Discs we pride ourselves on troubleshooting audio issues, which means you can quickly get things sorted and keep your press running. At the heart of it is a highly specialised microscope with episcopic illumination, which enables you to look at both a dark, non-reflective lacquer and also a highly reflective nickel stamper or mother, without any shadows on the groove walls or issues with glare. Every single mother we produce gets a skip test and it's here that we catch the majority of audio defects before they ever get to press. You can hear a short zipping sound there. The first question is, is the problem replicated on the lacquer? The defect in this case is on the lacquer, so there's fairly solid evidence that this is probably a cutting issue. And if we have a closer look under the microscope, it's possible to see that there's a small overcut that's creating the issue. So here's another cutting issue that caused a mother to be rejected. You can hear a high level of surface noise on the mother as well as the lacquer. When we bring the microscope into play, we can see a fault here on the mother. This has been caused by a damaged cutting stylus scratching the groove wall. You'll notice that the damage is only on one of the groove walls. To prove that this is the cause of the issue, we should be able to isolate the issue and only hear it on the left channel. So here's the left channel. And then here's the right channel without the issue. So in this case, that means a recut. But when you show hard evidence of the fault to a cutting studio, it's generally very straightforward to get a recut organised. Here's an example of a small pop that was potentially caused by us. This was caused by some physical damage to the lacquer. Whilst we're not entirely sure we caused it, because we didn't catch it during lacquer QC, we'll hold our hands up and supply the customer with a recut of the lacquer at our expense. But sometimes you get a pop caused by an air bubble in the lacquer that causes a repetitive click. You can see in this instance the groove was cut on top of the lacquer defect. And not often, but sometimes, we see a bad case of horns, where the cutting stylus has ploughed up ridges on top of the land surface of the lacquer on either side of the groove. By listening to the test press, and then the mother, then looking at both the lacquer and the mother under the microscope, we can quickly identify where the problem originates. As a result, cutting studios and our customers trust us and everyone in the supply chain can quickly get on with resolving the problem and getting the record pressed.